The neat thing about this is that it comes with a hole. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Ron, and today I want to share with you guys some products that I got from our friends over at Jofami. Jofami? Jofami. Thank you to Joe Femi, I'm just gonna say Joe Femi, for sending me this ceramic female body plant pot. I could not resist that. It's a butt pot, but I also received this window hanging planters and holder. So this is gonna go onto the wall behind me and this one I'm just gonna showcase somewhere in this plant room but I don't know what plants to put in here yet so we're gonna do an unboxing real quick it says premium quality metal holder with plastic plant pots plastic pan plastic <laughs> that is such a tongue twister plastic plant pots focused on plant containers and accessories we believe gardening is a work of heart and love makes everything grow if you want to find out more about this company, then go ahead and click on the link in the description box below. I'm gonna to have to choose plants that love light because my grow light is like right above that. I think I want them to be trailing because it's gonna go on the wall. So a trailing plant will look really nice there. Who can resist that? It's a big booty, but I think it's a four inch booty. We will see. I think I'm gonna first unbox the hanging pots. Hanging pots. They are metal, that's for sure. I haven't really been buying a lot of like plant decor and accessories lately because I've been trying to showcase all my plants in just basic white nursery pots. I love using plastic nursery pots because from time to time, I do like to squeeze the sides of the pots to help aerate the soil. And that is really beneficial to the plant's roots because the plant's roots they need oxygen in order to grow healthy. If I do use any like hard surface plant pots, it's either a terracotta pot or a cover pot. So if it's a cover pot, those plastic white nursery pots go into that. So I can still take them out and then like squeeze the outsides of the pot. I do still have like some of these like hard surfaced plastic pots, which I can't really press the sides but this is reserved. You see how big these are? These are like eight inch pots. These are reserved for plants that really need an upgrade. And if I do need to aerate the soil, in this case, I will just poke the soil with like a bamboo skewer or something. But yeah, I do like using my nursery pots, but I'm trying to transfer everyone into those white nursery pots because I do like the white aesthetic. So as you can see, this product right here is white with some black accents, which is okay because I do have some black accents kind of going around in this room. Although I do like the overall white aesthetic. Here we've got some documents. Every beautiful plant deserves a beautiful pot. That's for sure. And because every single plant out there is beautiful, I'm gonna need beautiful pots everywhere. I mean, my plastic white nursery pots aren't really beautiful, but that's the beauty of it, I guess, because they're very basic and they don't have like any fancy designs to them. So they really showcase the plant, right? And that's kind of the goal. I might need a screwdriver or something, but definitely I'm gonna need a drill to drill this into the wall. All right. So basically, this is what it looks like. There's three of these. And they all hang from this rod that does this and does this. And then this base plate attaches to the wall. So 
these guys will hang from this rod with the help of these extension rods. So it's going to look really cute. But it also came with some string, which I don't know what they're supposed to be for because these hang off of these and then these attach to here. Yeah, like that. Here's a quick little demonstration right there. They also came with some drain plugs because I mean, I guess you could use these directly with soil and then leave these off. But I'm gonna, hmm, actually now I'm wondering, will these four inch nursery pots fit in here? I guess they do, which is really cool because I have three plants in mind that I wanna put in here. And like what I was saying earlier, I like using these plastic nursery pots into cover pots. So that is amazing because I don't have to repot anyone. So in that case, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug these holes. We kind of have a minor red flag here. The instructions say that it comes with the drywall anchors, which is this little guy right there but I don't see any in the box. So if you're picking one of these up, just be mindful of that, that it might not come with drywall anchors, which you need for sure if you're attaching this to drywall because a screw can only hold so much weight before that screw, you know, it ultimately becomes loose in that drywall. So the drywall anchor ensures that every screw is gonna be very snug in there so that you know, this is not just gonna fall off one day. Now I just want to go ahead and put these screws in. And then I need to go get a drill so I can drill a hole into the wall. Now it's ready to attach to the wall. But like I said earlier, it didn't come with the drywall anchors. So thankfully I had some already on hand. But the ones that I have hold up to 159 pounds. So because there are three holes, I'm not gonna use all three because what is that? 159 times three. I don't need this to hold 477 pounds, right? So I'm just gonna use one. <laughs> so we're gonna locate the holes onto the wall, but let me give you a quick demonstration of what this is supposed to look like. Cause I think it's really cute. Ta-da! Wait, I think I want the long one to go in the middle. There. This is much bigger than I thought it would be actually. So it's gonna fill up the blank space in the wall. All right, before I put that up onto the wall, I'm just gonna unbox the butt planter now. I wonder if I can put the booby cactus in this butt pot. Cause wouldn't that be so funny? It would make a complete body. Ooh. Okay, so I had a choice between the smooth white version or the speckled version. So I went with the speckled version because the speckles kind of add a little bit more visual interest. And I think it looks pretty good if you ask me. It's very plump. But here's the front side. Nice. Here's a side profile. And the back. Very nice. Look at the speckles. In certain angles in the light, it also kind of sparkles too. So that's really cool. It is definitely ceramic as you can hear. And the neat thing about this is that it comes with a hole. Not that kind of hole. A drain plug hole. And here's the drain plug. You could put a plant in here directly, which it looks like I might have to do that because I don't think my four inch pot will fit into this hole. It's kind of like a square shape. 
by the way this is my corkscrew plant that i'm using but yeah see uh that ain't fitting in there gonna have to repot a plant to put in here <sighs> decisions decisions we will see but anyway for now it is drilling time Okay, so before I drill the hole, let's do a test fit real quick. So this is gonna go somewhere around there. There is this cord from my grow light, but I'm gonna push it off to the side so that you don't see some random cord dangling back there. But yeah, that's looking really good so far. I like it. So yeah, a trailing plant, definitely, right? Three trading plants, I think. Yeah. That's straight. Does it look straight? Okay, so I'm just gonna start hanging the pots and then we're just gonna walk around the plant room a little bit to decide what plants to hang in there. And I already have several ideas, but let me know if I made the right choice. Okay, so don't mind this yellowing varicosum leaf but first contender is ooh, my variegated hindu robe look how long it's gotten guys these two long strands and then there is two more in there somewhere but check out this one right here this vine is pushing out super variegated leaves and i think it's branching actually so to the left that is one branch and then to the right of that is another branch but it's so pretty because all the leaves are white i'm just hoping that it's not gonna totally die off because as we all know all white leaves eventually die that is the first contender the second one hmm definitely a trailing plant i'm not gonna move those because those are already in a good spot <gasps> I know oh yeah my super lush Hoya Matilde so I bought this plant as one strand like it only had one strand with maybe like five leaves or so and it started growing really fast for me but it wasn't until I put this into the Millsbow cabinet that it exploded in growth it started branching like crazy i don't even know how many branches grew from that one vine but the ends of the vines are looking kind of bare as you can see um, and that's probably due to the lower humidity now that i brought it out of the millsbow cabinet because the millsbow cabinet gets about 70 to 80 percent humidity whereas the ambient humidity in the room is ooh, 48 percent 55 percent is actually when that machine automatically turns off but yeah this is gonna look so good up there so that's the plant number two yeah you can actually see in there that it started off as one vine which is crazy because i didn't even have to propagate it at all okay the third plant who's going to be so lucky i'm debating whether i should put the crimson princess or the hoya lisa which is back there 
excuse me, elbow syngonium. So that one is actually getting super lush and the leaves are getting big. I think I'm gonna have to go with the Crimson Princess, guys. And the reason is because this one I had propagated, I chopped it up recently because it was pushing out a lot of green leaves. So that's why all you can see that's left is all of these like super variegated leaves. And it looks pretty, right? But because I chopped it up and because it was pushing a lot of green leaves, I'm expecting to see new growth with variegated leaves. So it's starting to happen, this growth point right here. And there's another growth point right there. So in order to promote more variegated leaves, I want to put that plant instead of the Hoyalisa because that one is super happy there. It's giving me super big, beautiful variegated leaves already and I don't want to move that one because it's thriving there. That is going to be the third plant. Ta-da! So there you have it guys. I guess I chose three Hoyas. That's the final review. What do you guys think? I think it looks really nice. I was actually planning on attaching the Syngonium elbow on this wall and I thought that it would fit on there somehow. But like I said, I thought this was a lot smaller. I don't know why. So I might have to rethink the strategy on the Syngonium elbow. Maybe attach it to the other wall. I do want to attach it to the wall somewhere because it's going to look super pretty. But for now, let's repot someone into the butt pot. Hello from down below. I already picked out a plant for this butt pot. It is no other than the painted lady. Philodendron painted lady. I got this one about five months ago and it was just a tiny baby plant but in the pot I could see that there were three plants and each one has taken off. You can see that the new growth is coming in with more and more variegation, right? So this plant has been sitting inside of my Mills book cabinet ever since I got it and it could use a repot because the leaves, I mean, they've all generally come out unfurled about the same size every time. So we're gonna take a look at what the roots look like real quick and then give her some fresh new soil and then put her in the ass. All right, so there's the roots. Now I wanna put her into the butt pot. She should be able to thrive in there. And look at that, it's looking very sexy.
Okay, to get her settled in there, we're gonna have to spank her. She still is a little bit wobbly in there, but that's because she's very top heavy. But yeah, there it is. All right, well, that's about it for this video, guys. Look at that. Isn't she lovely? Wait, this light is so bright. That's a hot pot. Yeah, now I just need to water her in. That is so nice. Anyway, that's about it. Oh, also, if you want to pick up one of these or one of those, or any of Joe Famey's products. I'll go ahead and put the link to their store down below. And I also have a discount code for you guys. So make sure you use that and pick up yourself some plant pots and accessories, okay? Treat yourself and treat your plants, your lady plants to this lady planter. But anyway, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, plant scribe. That's such a fun pot. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.